Terpenes are greatly responsible for the aromas of your favorite cultivars. Terpenes appear all over in nature. Terpenes have medicinal properties and they are frequently used in everyday consumer products. More importantly, they can enhance the benefits of our favorite medicine and steer your experience in a particular direction, as demonstrated by the aromatherapy industry. This series will cover the frequently found terpenes in cannabis. You'll learn where to find terpenes, how they are used, and what they can offer us medicinally. So let's go! Hi, I'm Chad Westport. I've been involved with cannabis for over 30 years. I'm a graduate of SVC at WSU, where I studied sustainable agriculture and small farm systems. Commercially, I've worked at the largest indoor facility in our state, and I've consulted with our legislatures on the medicinal cannabis program. My background and training give me the experience to easily guide new growers through the home cannabis growing process. It's easier than you think and far more rewarding than unloved, mass-produced, chemically treated commercial cannabis. Enter the Woo, Westport University. This introductory episode is going to explain everything terpenes. Terpenes are small molecules primarily produced by plants. Terpenes are found in the essential oils, which in our favorite plant, the essential oils are found in the trichome heads. In nature, terpenes serve many purposes. Plants use terpenes as tools to detour pests and animals, but they also use terpenes to attract pollinators. Terpenes like bee farnesine can mimic the pheromones released by aphids as a warning to other aphids to flee. So, some cannabis plants can produce this terpene if under attack in an attempt to trick the aphids into fleeing. It's a pretty smart plant we're dealing with. Terpenes like pinene and myrcene are extra sticky and they exist in the plant's essential oils where they work as an effective sticky trap. These terpenes are commonly used in professional sticky traps like the ones used to catch mice and rats, and they're used in order to make them more sticky. Most people are familiar with citronella in mosquito traps, oils, and candles. Citronellol is the active terpene. Some terpenes can act like a fumigant, deterring pests from wanting to inhabit the plant, and others can be toxic, to, toxic on contact for insects. Terpenes serve a wide array of purposes. In cannabis, the monoterpenes have been shown to repel insect herbivores. The sesquiterpenes, which can produce a bitter taste, they've been shown to primarily deter grazing animals like deer and rabbits. Plants form terpenes by interlocking chains of isoprene into an organic compound. Terpenes can occur as hydrocarbons, alcohols, ketones, esters, aldehydes, and other forms. Isoprene has five carbon atoms bound to eight hydrogen atoms, which is written like C5H8. To form a terpene, two or more of these isoprene units must bond. The process of this formation is what is known as Wallach's Law, which you can look into further. It may surprise you though that you'll have to go back to the 1800s to find his work. This is not a new subject. There are many classes of terpenes. Terpene classes are determined by how many C5H8 isoprene units are in the terpene molecule. Hemiterpenes have one unit of isoprene. Monoterpenes have two isoprene units resulting in C10H16, which is 10 carbon atoms, 16 hydrogen atoms. Sesquiterpenes have three isoprene units, resulting in C15H24. Diterpenes have four isoprene units, resulting in C20H32. Sesterterpenes have five isoprene units, resulting in C25H40. And you can keep going. Triterpenes have six isoprene units, and tetraterpenes have eight, and so on. 
In cannabis, the majority of terpenes consist of monoterpenes, sesquiterpenes, and diterpenes. There are different classifications of each group based on molecular arrangement, but to keep it simple, we'll stick with these primary groups. Examples of monoterpenes include linalool, pinene, myrcene, limonene, and eucalyptol. Humulene, beta-carophylline, and farnesol are common sesquiterpenes, with phytol and other cannabinoids being diterpenes. We'll cover all of these individually in future episodes. You may have also heard the word terpenoid. A terpenoid is just a terpene that also has one or more oxygen atoms. These oxygen atoms can change the function of the molecule as well as how it interacts with other molecules. The suffix oid specifically notes that oxygen atoms are present in the molecule. As an example, cannabinoid, terpenoid, flavonoid, we know because of that oid suffix that they all have one oxygen atom or more attached to the molecule. Different terpene classes will volatilize, aka evaporate or vaporize into the air at different rates. Monoterpenes and sesquiterpenes are the most volatile and they can evaporate into the air at lower temperatures compared to a diterpene. Most of the cannabis terpenes are monoterpenes or sesquiterpenes, which is why the way you grow and store your flower is important for keeping the aromas. Now, did I mention there was going to be a quiz at the end? Well, there is. You spent this time watching this video because you wanted to learn more about terpenes. So this episode and every episode after will have a short five question quiz to help you retain the highlights. Answers will be revealed in the next episode. So grab your pens, folks, and here we go. Name two ways that plants use terpenes. Number two, plants form terpenes by interlocking chains of isoprene into an organic compound. Isoprene has five blank atoms and eight blank atoms. Fill in the blanks. Number three, name three common classes of terpenes found in cannabis. And number four, which two classes of terpenes volatize the easiest? Number five, what is the difference between a terpene and a terpenoid? And of course, there's an extra credit question for you guys, you smart little sons of guns. All right, the chemical formula for sesquiterpenes is A, C5H8, B, C5, or sorry, B, C10, H16, C, C15, H24, or D, C20, H32. I hope you have enjoyed this. I really hope you will come back for more videos about terpenes. We'll be exploring each of them individually in future Westport University videos. So please check out my website, chadwestport.com for gear and collectible merch. Keep it locked here on the Chad Westport YouTube channel for future episodes. Please like and subscribe. The answers to the quiz, they'll be posted in the next one. So remember everybody to party on.